pour a glass of English sparkling wine and prepare to be inspired by Raymond Blanc's French Christmas feast. Give a big hug on them, okay? Voila, that's a good start to Christmas. There are some Christmas traditions that it is very hard for a Frenchman to give up. And one of them is the notion that the only bubbles to be served at Christmas come in a bottle from Champagne. But Raymond is not one of those Frenchmen. And in the spirit of a Christmas Entente Cordiale, he's come to Cornwall to search out some English sparkling wine. Any time you hear a cork of Champagne popping or, or sparkling wine, it is about feast, it's about a moment, a happy moment, about celebration. To me there's very few sounds which are as happy as that. Pop, pop, fantastic. My son called me pop. <laughs> it's quite interesting anyway. Bob Lindo is an ex-RAF pilot who first planted vines in 1989. Winner of numerous prizes in the years since, this area suits the vines perfectly. It gets so warm here, we face due south with a nice amphitheatre, we have protection. It's, um, it's dramatic. It's, it's dramatic. If anybody thinks you can't grow grapes in Cornwall, look at those. You can. The success of Camel Valley Wines is all down to hard graft, and the challenging work has paid off. I've read somewhere, uh, 2009, at the Italian World Championship okay, of, yeah. of grapes, you came number one. I couldn't believe it. Before I, the French. I know. We were so happy. I still get a tear in my eye. I get it one I can't. I can't help it. <laughs> An emotional British man. That's wonderful. I love it. It's harvest time, and Raymond hasn't come a day too soon. I think, Bob, they need to be picked today. Yeah, yeah, this is the, this is the day. Yeah. Tomorrow is too yeah. late. Voila. Oh, no, no, beautiful. Oh, look at this bunch. It's fantastic, isn't it? Lovely flavor, lovely acidity. This is a year's work for many people. But why don't we grow more grapes in Great Britain? I think it's very, very hard to get the match the yields of, of France and Italy and Germany. You can compete on quality. So you can compete on quality? We well, it's a big, big thing. Yes. The grapes being harvested today are Dornfelder, well suited to the British climate. My son Sam. Sam Bob's son Sam is now in charge of winemaking. I always think in England the thing that we have that nobody else has is a magical acidity. Because of the cold you have much less flavour and you get less colour and also less tannins, which is excellent for sparkling wine. Well, we've got to do some work. Yes, here we go. Time to pick some grapes. Raymond, if you look now, we have in there two bottles of wine. I was in a Burgundy vineyard and Jura vineyard from the age of seven, so I said, Oh, he ah, knows, yeah. he knows. <laughs> oh la la, little problem here. I leave you the hard one, sir. So. Yeah, I know, I noticed <laughs> that. <laughs> and then he'll leave it for me. <laughs> That's right. Hard work over, it's time for a spot of breakfast. Locally caught in smoked salmon. Not too strong here, yeah. it's lovely. Scrambled eggs. Lovely colour. Sparkling wine. Lovely. What a lovely pop. <laughs> it's just like Christmas morning. <laughs> voilà. Cheers. Cheers.